What's up guys, it's X-Rays and welcome to a new Under the Knife Dice section. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Cap 40 Machine Pistol. We're going to talk about why a lot of people think this gun is OP and why it feels like this thing just completely demolishes and destroys anything that is inside or close to its proximity. So look forward to that, but before I do that, guys, if you guys want to check out the latest episode of Under the Knife Dissection, I covered the SMR, it's the previous episode, go ahead and check out the link down in the description below, and uh, I'll put a little fancy annotation on the screen as well for you guys to go check it out if you guys want to see uh, more of these dissections. But anyways, guys, now that I got that out of the way, let's jump straight into some of this information for you guys. First of all, the Cap 40 is unlocked at level 43, so uh, you're not going to be destroying people right from the get-go. Uh, you have to actually work your way to getting the uh, cap 40 which is unlocked at level 43 so you got a strain and you got a claw and you got to work hard to try to get it so honestly i think it's a great way to balance it you have to struggle to get it and uh, right away you know it's not given to you right away so you're not destroying people uh right from level one i guess you could say or right right from level four when you can create a class the Cap 40 is a full auto uh, machine pistol. It's technically categorized as a pistol, but we all know it's a full auto machine pistol, and a lot of people really like it because of that. It's the only full auto uh, machine pistol that is in Black Ops 2. All the other ones are either semi auto or uh, three round burst, which is the B23R, which is what we're going to be talking about, or the B23R, which is what we're going to be talking about in the next Under the Knife Dice section. Apart from that, the Cap 40 has a magazine size of 15 when not using extended clips. And when you are using extended clips, it actually jumps up to 20. Um, if you're either using fast mags or uh, extended clips, you I would recommend you use either one of the two. I would recommend maybe the extended mags a little more than the uh, fast mags because you run out of ammo so fast. And you guys are going to see why in a little bit. Uh, but anyway, let's continue on now. The Cap 40 does 45 damage up close uh, when at its max damage and it does 19 at its minimum damage. Basically what this means is that it does more damage than any of the submachine guns that are in the game. That's why if you are using a submachine gun and you notice that somebody killed you with a Cap 40 and you get pissed off and you're like, oh, I have an SMG, why are they beating me? It's because the Cap 40 actually does more damage up close. Even its minimum damage is more than the minimum damage of any of the submachine machine guns in black ops 2 so basically what this means is if you run into one of these guys and he has decent aim he is going to take you out there's really nothing you can do about that moving on from that the rate of fire of the cap 40 is 900 rounds per minute that is an insane amount guys it's the most out of all the other pistols 900 rounds per minute that's why you run out of ammo really quickly why i rec uh, again recommended that you use the extended mags because this thing spews them out really quick it takes people down ridiculously fast now and how fast does it do it moving on to the time to kill the cap 40 kill someone in 0.1502 seconds to 0.3504 again if you're at the max distance and you're getting that minimum damage it's going to take you about 0.3504 to kill someone moving on from that the cap 40 actually has a three shot kill range of 40 feet or in other words 12 meters uh so around 12 meters really it's about 12.0 something meters so i'm just gonna round it up to tw round it down to 12 basically uh so basically it has a three shot kill range of 40 feet or 12 meters and uh, apart from that, it basically is a three to six shots to kill gun. Moving on from there, the Cap 40 has a 1.0 headshot multiplier. It used to have a 1.4, uh, but then they dropped it down to 1.0. Uh, they felt that it was a little overpowered. People were complaining you could actually kill someone in two shots to the head. So they decided to nerf the Cap 40 a little bit and drop it down to 1.0. Uh, time headshot multiplier basically no point in shooting for the head because it's not going to give you any bonus or anything the cap 40 has a low hip spray or hip spread so if you are just uh, you know hip spraying people uh, you don't have to be that on target it's actually very concentrated a little more concentrated much more than the executioner which is basically like a shotgun so uh, if you have to go ahead and shoot from the hip if uh, aiming downside is something that you just cannot do moving on from there the cap 40 moves at 100% movement speed basically it's a pistol you're gonna move at 100% which means that if you're using ghosts you don't have to worry about moving around when aiming down sight you're not gonna be affected by that if you do not know what I'm talking about I have an in-depth uh, dissection of the ghost perk and I have to tell you guys how movement speed affects how that perk works if you guys want to know more link to that will also be down in the description 
Moving on from there, the Cap 40 has an ADS time and an ADS in and an ADS out time of 0.1 seconds. So it aims down sight really fast. Again, it's a pistol, so you're going to aim down sight really quickly. It's not like an assault rifle, uh, so it's not going to take you as long. It's a lighter weapon. Moving on from there, the Cap 40 has a raise and drop time of 0.28 seconds and 0.32. Again, a lot faster than any of the assault rifles, any of the SMGs, because it's a pistol. Again, lightweight, it's gonna you know destroy people. <laughs> Basically, moving on from there, let's move on to the reload time. The Cap 40 takes uh, 1.45 seconds to reload uh, when you are not doing a reload cancel. And when you do reload cancel the Cap 40, it takes 0.92 seconds to reload. If you were to waste every single bullet in your uh, magazine, it would actually take you 1.85 seconds to reload. And if you reload canceled the full animation, it would take you 0.97 seconds. So I would highly recommend that you reload cancel. It's always usually advised to reload cancel. Moving on from there, guys, we're going to take a look at the final specs here for you guys. The Cap 40 has very high recoil, which means don't try to kill someone from a distance. Stay up close, destroy them, spam them. If you're shooting someone up close, it's, uh, you know, there's really no reason to talk about recoil because you're going to be up close and destroying people. But if you are, you know, at that 40 feet or 12 meter distance, then uh, it's going to be really hard for you to get an aim on someone and try to kill them. So I would highly recommend don't try to kill someone at a distance. Just don't even risk. You're going to waste your ammo it's going to take you a while to reload and you're going to get taken out by someone who has a better longer range weapon than you moving on from that the iron sights of the cap 40 are actually pretty clear you know it's basically just the top nothing enough no obstruction nothing getting in the way so there's really no reason to put any kind of optic sight on this weapon uh, it's only going to waste a point i would recommend using a silencer if you want to stay off the map and uh and a extended clip or a fast mags to again help you out with the low amount of ammo that it has. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's episode of Under the Knife Dissection. If you did, remember to slap a like on this video and remember to hit subscribe to my channel, youtube.com slash OG Extras for a ton more of these dissections. And remember, you can also check out previous episodes down in the link in the description. You can click it. It'll take you to the latest episode of Under the Knife Dissection. And of course, leave a comment down below. What do you guys want me to dissect next? I'm going to do the B23R. But after that, what do you guys want me to dissect and compare next? So two guns that you want to see compared and dissected completely. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode and uh, I'm actually as I'm out. Peace.